Well, it's Friday morning about 9 a.m. It's a beautiful day. Shade of wind, about 42 or so degrees. The Indians are outside. <laughs> These are the knives that Chris brought home for me to sharpen for this gentleman. He lives across the pond in Hampton, where the gun show is sometimes. I'm not sure what's in here, but let's take a look and see. Well, as you can see, it's a set of uh, German knives. You can't make there. They got some age on them. You can't quite make out anything. This is the only one you can read though. It says Gloria, stainless steel, Solingen. At Felix, F E L I X. If you look that up, you can pull up the uh, knives. Felix it comes up. Felix Gloria. They're not bad looking knives, and they're not too bad of shape. I don't know what he's been sharpening them with. It's a little rough kind of an edge, but it's uh, it's in good shape. Good bevels and everything. I think he's told me that he used the stone on them himself. He just wanted them sharper. There's a little para, a utility, boner, utility, a butcher knife, a big slicer, and a chef knife. You can see it's been sh sharpened some. It's got complete wooden handles on it. Nice handles. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, of course. But they're all in uh, really nice condition. And they're nice handles, like I said. You can see this, the, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, this one right here is a saboteur. I should have noticed when I see the handle difference. All these are handled exactly alike. Then I saw this one sticking out. That's why I couldn't see anything on the blade. It's, it says saboteur right there. French knife. Nice knife. Yes, sir. In the good shape. No chips, no anything on them. They don't need polishing. They never been in the dishwasher, doesn't look like. Just nice knives. Alright. That's something else we got to do today. We might finish up those pocket knives we were working on yesterday for a fellow in California. It's a beautiful day. We may, uh, tie's low about three, so we got plenty of time to do both. Let's see how it goes. I'll get back to you. It looks like this knife's going to be okay. I imagine it's going to fall apart after a while, but I got enough epoxy in there to keep it together for a while. And the fill in place, I gotta sand it off. That's where the paper stuck to it. But uh, I think it'll be fine. I'll give you an after anyway. Well, all my travels out today, I picked up uh, two pair of scissors, some Ginger fabric scissors. And some hair scissors. Straight bladed hair scissors, I might say. And one nice big shunt. 10 inch chef's knife, I think it is. Yep. You can see, I don't know if you'll be able to see with this camera, but it has a few little, little microchips along the blade. Nothing like you might expect. You can see two or three right there. You can get the light just right. And a couple right there. And other than those, it's pretty chip free. It doesn't look like it's a very old knife. But the handle, uh, I think, is old. I think it's sort of old. Maybe it just doesn't use it much, you know. Okay, we got to get to work. And finish up those other ones that we got last night. Stand by. Oh, I did get this. My buddy in Texas, Gary, he's been using some stuff called crud cutter. I haven't been able to find it anywhere here. But this is some stuff made by Zep. It says uh, industrial cleaner with degreaser. And that's what his says. His other than his is made by somebody called crud cutter. 
I haven't tried this yet, nor will I try it today, but I, I'm going to have it. I'll have to hang it up here with my other stuff right there. Okay, I got to go to work. I'll get back to you. Well, I got all the knives ready. I got the scissors ready. All I got to do is put them in a bag. Find out when I'm going to get them back. Oh, there's a shun over there. I forgot about the shun. And I got some gold for you. I didn't find it. Mumbles man found it. He went back to the... He didn't go to the cave today. He went to East Beach. He said, man, it was cold and windy and no sun out. Mm. He got a gold grill and a silver ring and almost a pound of lead. I'll show you the pictures in a minute. There's a mumbles man's uh, silver ring from today. There's his gold grills. He found some gold grills. 10K, you see them? There you are. Cool grills. Okay, let me go see if I can find what Beaver found in the dirt for you today. Beaver had a good day in the dirt the last two days. Stand by. There's Beaver's button today he found. He thought it was a Confederate button at first, but it's actually a. I sent it to my buddy, the mountain man, yeah. Greg. Yeah. He said it's a Miller School button. Jack! And that's some of the other stuff he found. Jack, be nice. A little dotty. That's a pendant. British or Denmark or something. That's the back of it. The whole shoe and some of the other things that he found. There's the pendant from the front. I'm looking for comments. A spoon with some kind of mark on it. Oh, more hallmark. Nobody knows what that is yet. Come here. Part of a monkey ranch. <laughs> Jack, be quiet. I don't know why we're getting so many duplications here. Stand by. There's a big clay marble that he found. And. I'll show you some more in just one second. There's the back of the uh, Miller School button. And there's the back of the little badge. Pretty cool. Tickets right there. The Miller School button. That's a military school back in the 1800s. And we don't know what that is. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Indians in here. We got them. Look at that Indian plan. <laughs> Quiet, you jealous thing. You're so jealous. <laughs> Can't even pet the baby Indian. She's come a long ways from when we first got her.